Hey guys, this is Bookie Bookworm. So it's time for another book review, and this is The Cat Who Turned On and Off by Lillian Jackson Braun. This is the third book in the series, and it introduces um, for the first time Yum Yum. Now, this one is pretty unique. Uh, he's not doing a magazine, he's not doing an assignment, he's trying to win a thousand dollars in the Daily Fluxion writing contest. And so he decides to do one about Junktown. Now, he assumes that Junktown is this seedy, uh, horrible place full of seedy and horrible people. And he finds out that it's an entire community of antique dealers. And he also finds upon moving into Junktown that it comes with his own problems. One of them is a $50 deposit. Now, you understand what year this was actually uh, published? Uh, this was, I think, during the 60s or 70s. I don't remember. But uh, I kind of laugh at the idea of a deposit, like, you know, four months or seven months in advance. So, basically, his whole idea of doing this uh, piece was all about crime and drugs and, and things like that and he finds that it's not the case at least most of the time it's not the case um, I really in fact enjoyed this book this book was absolutely wonderful just however just like with the second book I don't have a physical copy of the book because once again, the library refuses to let me check it out. Uh, we op there was a new branch that opened up, Southwest, and they don't allow any of their books to be like inter, like sent out the library. You actually got to go to Southwest and you got to pick up the book. And I don't live near Southwest, hmm. but I really enjoyed the book and. I hadn't read the book in so long that I forgot who the killer was, but um, like I said, overall, a really good book, and once again, if you're a fan of cats and whodunits, definitely pick up The Cat Who Turned On and Off. So I'll be back at some point in the future. Um, I'm currently reading The New Girl, which is the first book in the Fear Street series, and as soon as I finish with that book, I will be doing a book review of it. And I will also do a book review of The Sea of Monsters. So uh, that might be next week that I will at least have a new video out. So I'll see you guys around until next time. Keep reading.